Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over my 2019 planner and planner setup. So as you can see, this is not an Erin Condren box. I have decided to try something new with a plum paper planner. I had plum paper in the past, however, it ended up not working out and I think I kind of have an idea why. So this is a new layout. In fact, I have not been able to find any reviews or plan with me's or planner setups for the type of plum paper planner that I got. So I'm excited to show you guys this and kind of give you um, a general overview of how I think I'll be using it. Now, as always, planners change. Part of the fun of having a planner is getting a new one. So I'm not saying that this is going to be the end all be all planner. I always tell you guys that your needs change frequently and when you are so heavily into planning, it's very easy to get swayed into another planner. And to be quite honest with you, I enjoy that. It's fun for me and I'm tired of feeling guilty over it. So it's something that actually makes me really happy. So if I end up switching, I end up switching, but I do have high hopes for this one because it's different than any planner that I've ever used before. So stay tuned if you want to see why. Just to give you an idea on shipping. So I placed the order on December 17th at around eight o'clock at night. I had an idea that this was going to take a little bit longer just because of the holidays. Obviously sometimes offices are closed. So I knew I wanted to pay for express shipping. This was purchased during the holidays, so keep that in mind. I ordered it December 17th at 7.52 p.m. I received a shipping confirmation on the day that they said it would ship. So they told me when I ordered it, had like a little information on the bottom, that it would ship on December 27th, which it did. And I paid for um, priority shipping, which was an additional $7, and it arrived on the 29th of December. So ordered it on the 17th, Got a shipping confirmation on the 27th, which is exactly what they told me it would be, and it was at my on my doorstep by the 29th, which is pretty good. Like I said, I did pay for um, expedited shipping. Their standard shipping is okay. It's standard shipping. It's like eight to 10 business days, I think, and that's exactly what it took last time I ordered from them. So I knew I wanted to do the expedited, expedited shipping because I wanted it in my hands ASAP. Okay, so let's get to opening. So it does come bubble wrapped. It's kind of hard, my tripod's in the way. All right, so you get their um, plum paper, like kind of, you know, like information sheet, and it just gives you their social media um, platforms. And also, if you do the hashtag win plum paper when you're posting about your planner, you could win whatever product you're showcasing. So that's cool. And then they give you a sample of their. Um, cover paper and they ask you to try it and obviously their covers are pretty durable. Now, to be quite honest with you, I probably won't keep this cover on it. One of my favorite features is having an interchangeable cover and all of my Erin Condren covers fit on there here. So that was one of, that was a big selling point for me because I like to switch out the covers, but I also really liked this Christmassy winter one. I probably will keep it on for a little bit, but if not, I have plenty of planner covers to choose from. So let's open it up. All right, so the first thing that you will notice is that it comes with a clear plastic cover um, that goes over their actual cover. So it's kind of nice, just gives some extra durability. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this on just because the Erin Cajun covers are pretty durable in and of themselves, but it might be nice to have just an extra layer. So you get the clear plastic layer and then you get to design the cover. If you're not familiar with plum paper planners, it's a lot to say, <laughs> um, everything is very customizable. It's probably one of their biggest selling points and I think a big reason why um, they get the customers that they do is just because it, you really can tailor the planner to your needs. So you have an option of you know, having a bar across the bottom with your name. You could do it transparent. You could have your monogram in the middle. You could put the year up here. I kept it pretty simple. Just put my Instagram name on the um, cover. So, and I feel like my Instagram name, even if I ever was to change my Instagram name, which I have no plans to, this is kind of versatile so I could use it for years to come. And the cover is like kind of like that unbreakable, unrippable, unterrible um, paper that is, it's not laminated like a Erin Condren cover, but it's just kind of like a thick, I don't know, kind of like plasticky, like almost like what the kids' placemats are made out of. 
So that's kind of what that feels like. And then you get your cover page, put your contact information. You get 2018 at a year at a glance and 2019. And then the first kind of note pages that you get are special dates and they pre-label the month for you. So you could put like birthdays if you want to be able to, um, you know, look at a list of birthdays that are coming up so that you know if you have to buy cards or gifts. It's just kind of nice to see it all in one place versus having to look each month. And then on the next page, you get the same kind of layout as the previous page with the special dates. This time they did not um, put any sort of header so you could use it for whatever you want, maybe goals for each month, tasks that need to get done each month, things like that. And I did, as you can probably tell already, order the colorful layout. And then you get the December kind of cover page. And this page, I don't know, I go back and forth between liking structured pages like this and just wanting kind of notes pages. But worst case scenario, if I ended up not using it, I can just kind of use an Oli clip and clip these two together so that when I flip to December, it opens automatically to my monthly layout. The monthly layout is great. I like that there is no sort of headers over here. It gives you um, the following month at a glance if you need it and just kind of has a lot of space. I like the amount of space. This is perfect. I plan on pretty much sticking to pen only. That's kind of why I liked the layout of this planner, which you'll see in a little bit, but gives me plenty of space to add special dates, travel dates, vacations, all that kind of stuff that I like to track in my monthly. All right, so then you get to your weekly spread. This is called the vertical priorities layout, and basically it focuses on having your set priorities. Now, like I said, with a plum paper planner, you can customize pretty much everything that you see on this page. So I could have put a header here. I could have put a header here. I could change the wording of tracker. I chose to do focus on with the three tasks and reminders with the three tasks. This could be any wording that you want. I also chose to put um, dinner on the bottom because that's pretty much what I track at the bottom of every planner. I don't know why. It's just kind of what I've been drawn to. And then you have your weekend um, the weekend is more focused on kind of relaxation, I would think, because they don't have your focus on or reminders, which is fine for me because honestly, like I just need a place to write down any appointments or things that we have going on on the weekend. So I don't need the general like focus on. And even if I wanted to add focus on, I could just do it myself. So I liked that layout a lot. It, like I said, it just screams functional to me. I can use a pen and a paper and just having these kind of broken down and like separated from the rest of my tasks for the day really I think will help keep me on track for the things that I want to get done for the week. Now there is one con to this layout and that is that you lose the sidebar which at first I'm like oh I'm so used to having that sidebar there like I, I really need that sidebar. It almost made me not want to get the planner and then I remember that like number one there's other places to add in my weekly to-do list, but number two, I, honestly, sometimes I wasn't even looking so much at, at the sidebar because it kind of blended in with the planner, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna give it a try. Who knows, it might be something that I missed, but I did pick up these post-its. This is from Target, and they are sticky on the back, it's just like a standard post-it note, so I figured I can kind of have a list of ongoing things that I need to get done and put it on my weekly spread if my general to-do list is pretty long. And to be quite honest with you, I like when I'm writing lists to have the wider space and not try and fit it in a small column. So it should work, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, of course. And then obviously you go through the month. Oh, and that is one other thing about the Plum Paper Planner is that they give you the full week like see if you notice this is grayed out and that's because the month doesn't actually start until the first so it's kind of grayed out which some people love some people hate it doesn't really bother me i don't really tend to notice it because you'll see when you go through the month it goes back to the darker colors which works for me but it is something to be noted because it's different than most planners you can start your planner in any month when you order from Plum Paper. I chose to start it in December, just on the off chance that it got here before December ended. I honestly will probably rip that out just because it, it, the month has already passed, I won't use it. But it is something to be noted that you can start your planner whenever you want and then it will go 12 months from that date versus some planners where they start at a certain, you know, January of 2018, it goes to December of 2019. 
this you can start at any time, which is really nice. All right, so then at the end of the month, you get a notes pages and then you roll right into your next divider with that kind of structured um, beginning of the month with your goals, birthdays, events, things to remember, note pages, back into the monthly, and then you go into the weekly. And that will continue for me all the way through November. So once I am at November, I reach another notes page and I go into my blog section. That is another huge selling point for um, Plum Paper is that they have a ton of add-ons and you can really, really get use out of one book. Instead of having several books for different things, I kind of like having just one book to focus on. So one of the add-ons that I chose was blog. Obviously, I currently don't have a blog, but I do have a YouTube channel and it will be nice to kind of keep um, everything in one spot and kind of, I think, encourage me to post more because I really do miss posting on YouTube. It's, it's difficult with three kids, but I love sharing with you guys and I think I have a lot to share with you this year. So I kind of wanted to have just a general place to dump all of that stuff. Now, some of this I won't be using like content quality and all that stuff. I don't think I would really be focused on that. But, um, just a place to kind of dump ideas to uh, give away, review notes, things to do this month, important dates, blog priorities, stuff like that. So like I said, some of it's not quite pertinent to me yet, but it might be. Hopefully one day I'll have a blog. So you go through all of those. And then the next thing is a page for advertising, sponsorship, and reviews. And I think this will help me out a lot um, because I do receive some things to share with you guys and kind of having all of it in one place will just be extremely helpful for me. And then you have giveaway and contests, which I have a giveaway coming up soon, expense tracker and income tracker. And then a yearly overview. Next section was a to-do list page. So. Again, trying to stick with the one book concept. Who knows if it'll work, but it's my goal. Um, just having a to-do list for things like, you know, if I'm having a birthday party for my daughter, having a place to write all the to-dos or information for that on. It's just kind of a nice way to have some extra note pages in. And I think it, I think it's like $1.25 to get all of these added in. So I thought I would give it a shot at using those. And then the next add-on I got was checklists. So I've seen a lot of ideas on how to use this and there's a ton of pages. I think you get 12 maybe um, checklist pages. My idea is to kind of have it where I have like a task and then the month of the year. So, you know, January, February, March, April, and then like change um, air filter vents. I don't know, but just something where I can keep track of when I did it. Got an oil change, um, kids' doctor's appointments, just things that like, I'm like, when did we do that again? And here I will have it all in one location in that one book concept that I had. And these are all optional. You can add them, you cannot add them, you can put in something different. I just thought that those would be the things that are most useful for me. And then they give you some dot grid note pages that are included in the planner without an add-on, passwords, contacts, holidays, and then 2020 year at a glance. And then at the back, you get a folder, um, which I usually tuck like school papers, invitations, things like that in here. It is double-sided. And one thing that I thought was nice is they allow you to add page protectors. So in here, I will probably keep a copy of my kiddos um, yearly school calendar. I'll probably shrink it down to size and put it in here so that I have it to reference because that is a paper that I reference very frequently. Um, I might keep in, you know, just things, like I said, just pages that I reference frequently that I want to keep without, like, you know, like sometimes when you tuck it in your planner, it can get bent or lost or mixed in. It's nice to have a page where it's kept in a nice page protector. And these are actually great quality. And I might use one for pictures, like just to have like a little setup of pictures of my kiddos and my husband. Um, so we'll see. And then you are at the end of the planner. You get another cover. And if you want these to be interchangeable, I just snip the edges and then it is interchangeable. I could use all of my Erin Condren covers. And then you get another clear plastic cover. And then to just go over some of the basic things, the coil is great, great, great quality. Um, it is, they are all silver coils, so you don't get to pick the coil cover, but it's super durable. This is not going anywhere. It's not bending. It's not getting 
caught on anything. Everything is bent nicely. Even on the places that it's bent, it's not chipping or anything. It's great. The quality of the plum paper is great. And the paper, the paper is very silky. Um, one thing of that I love about the Erin Condren is the quality of the, her paper. Hers is more of like, I don't want to say like a dry paper, but it's, it's a great paper. This is more silky. So if you're the type that likes to use gel pens, you need to wait a little bit for it to set because it will smear if you don't give it enough time. I personally don't use gel pens. I use um, like a porous tip pen, like a Paper Mate Flare, Sharpie, things like that. Um, but even with that, I do kind of like to give it a little bit of time. I'm not going to be super careful with this because the whole idea of this planner is really just to get it all out of my brain onto paper and have a place where everything is. Because what I was finding with the old way that I used to plan with the stickers and everything like that is that I would wait until I had the time to dedicate to planning so that I could use certain stickers or make it look really cute or have the right kit or whatever the case would be. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that style of planning. It just stopped working for me because I would wait so long and I would run out of time that I would actually skip the week and then have to back plan, which is not why I wanted a planner. I started planning because I actually needed like to get to function, like to keep all of my kids' schedules on track, my husband's schedule, our family calendar, things like that. It's it's important to me to have a paper place. And if I decide to go back to decorative planning, I can always reference this because it's going to have a ton of stuff in it. It's going to be scribbles. It's going to be lists. It's going to be post-its. It's going to be super, super functional. So if I ever decide to go back to like a memory keeping style planning, I have it all here. And I don't have to worry about it being pretty. I can scratch things off. I can use ballpoint pen, which is like unheard of in the planner community. Um, I don't know, I'm just excited to kind of go back to planner roots and just have a pen only planner. Pen, highlighter, post-it only planner. I guess I should clarify with that. All right guys, so again, this is the plum paper planner vertical priorities planner i will link everything in the description bar down below for you guys in case you are interested in checking this planner out like i said they are known for being customizable um so if this layout isn't your jam they have a ton of other layouts hourly vertical um just lines where it's the like kind of like an hourly format but it's just lines no time um stamping they have different sizes so this is the seven by nine they have an a5 planner they have a big planner which i think is eight by eleven i could be wrong on that but they they just have a ton of planners with a ton of different options all of the writing is customizable the covers are customizable it really is i think a great option if you are looking for something that is tailored to your needs if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and i will try and get back to you as soon as possible don't forget to like this video if you liked it and um, subscribe so you could see how I actually set this planner up. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.